from a scrum, a very messy scrum cut close to the Penrith line, a kick through and John O'Connor who's had first grade experience, you find a lot of these players in reserve grade have had plenty of first grade experience and uh, that was O'Connor going in for the first try of the game and uh, it looked at that early stage that it was going to be a great day for the Sharks. Bill Harrigan, the uh, referee there who has had plenty of first grade but uh, it was Penrith big forward pack uh, uh, well led uh, last uh, Saturday by Mark Carroll, Paul Ackery and uh, Steve Waddell and uh, it was a, a pretty good win by this Penrith side Steve Carter the 5'8 in number 19 that's him playing the ball now I think he's an outstanding prospect he's still a schoolboy, and he has a lot to do with this win here's Penrith uh, looking good early in the game and there's the opening try for them scored to their winger Shane Brumby, not a bad name for a, uh, a, a, a winger that runs carefree out there. He helped himself to two two tries in this game, Brumby, and uh, they were fairly easy ones, but he was on the spot to uh, to pick up a couple of tries. And uh, in the second half, it was pretty tight at half-time, but in the second half, it was uh, all Penrith Panthers. His big Ackery holding a pass up for Delaney, then the ball out wide after a drop pass, and there's Brumby in again on the spot for a uh, comparatively easy try. And uh, that gave Penrith the... Uh, the lead they wanted, Cronulla never gave up, but uh, from this point on it was going to be all Penrith and uh, uh, it was a, a comprehensive win. But as I said, the Cronulla side never gave up, but here's an intercept for this young fellow, Steve Carter. Still a schoolboy, does his higher school certificate this year and uh, he's certainly getting a taste of the big time before a good crowd there of over 25,500 at the Sydney Football Stadium on Saturday and uh, he's got a future. Mark his name down in the future. A tremendous growth area out there, isn't it? Well, it's the biggest junior league area, Shadow in Australia and uh, they're certainly starting to grow. Uh, their first grade side uh, failed at the end of the season but uh, here we're looking at their reserve grade coached by Lenny Stacker and uh, they just had too many guns for the uh, uh, for the Cronulla side. That's Mark Carroll, the second row forward going in now. He too has had first grade experience so they're, they're building up to something in the years to come. Cronulla uh, ever trying, that's little Paul Bishop the son of Tommy Bishop uh, in possession of the football just playing it in jumper number 20. There's the second try of the game to the Cronulla side, that's to their lock forward, Ken Ebb. Most of the Cronulla players have long blonde hair. Beachside suburb, of course, of, uh, of Sydney, and uh, a lot of them uh, uh, go surfing, and uh, they were just uh, uh, outclassed in this game. But, of course, they're first grade of minor premiers, and uh, that's the first time that that's ever happened to the Cronulla Sharks but uh, here's little Delaney in 20 he's had a heap of first grade experience there's the ball out wide that's uh, just short of the line and uh, a quick play of the ball here for the uh, for the Penrith side Delaney a long pass out to his uh, winger and uh, there's a try there for Grant Izzard who scored a try and kicked seven goals as I said at the uh, uh, at the top of this piece but uh, Little Delaney, I think, is probably the most experienced and best reserve grader in the Premiership. There's Izzard booting a left footer right between the uprights to convert his own try. And uh, it was a, uh, a comprehensive victory. 34 points to 12. Penrith go on uh, to live another day and Cronulla exit in the reserve grade Premiership.